Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of describing data. This is standard 6.12b in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 36 off the 2021 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a dot plot that shows the number of packages mailed by the last 20 customers. So 20 people walked in, and they're simply keeping track of how many customers mailed zero packages, one package, two, and it looks like we've got some five, eight, and ten, but we don't necessarily have every single number between that zero and ten. But all we have to do is describe the data. We're not asked to solve any problems with this data, like how many customers were there. They already gave that to us. So let's just simply describe this data. So which data description here is best? Look at this F right here. The data distribution has gaps. So that might not seem like a technical math term, but a gap is probably something that we are familiar with. Like, let's say if we were to have a window right here, and it's not exactly like right next to the to the wall in the house, and there's like a little gap, and, and you've got some air coming through. That would be a gap if it's not sitting correctly in that wall right there. And so a gap means that there are spaces to where there is no data. We'll take a look right here. I've got nothing for three, got nothing for four, nothing for six, nothing for seven, and nothing for nine. These are gaps. We wanted something that had no gaps, right? Then every single piece of data would be filled in every single line. We would have something that looks like this. This is no gaps. If we were to go from 0 to 10, or in this case, this was like 1 to 4, this would have no gaps. So F right away, that might be our answer. Let's look at the other ones. The data distribution is symmetrical. All right, so we've been dealing with symmetry since fourth grade. And symmetry is when you can use an imaginary line, fold something in half, and it's the exact same on either side. And here's the problem. This part right here is symmetrical. So this first part would work. But the data distribution, we have to look at the whole thing. Right? If you were to draw an imaginary line down here, you can actually fold it. And it is pretty symmetrical. That's pretty good. It's high for 0, low for 1, high for 2. But the data distribution actually folds right here at this 5. And it is not symmetrical, because you have to include this 5, this 8, and these two up here at 10. So if we could just look at a part of it, we'd be good. But we have to look at the entire thing. So G is not going to be our answer. H, the data are clustered. Now remember, data is actually a plural word. The singular is datum. But we usually just use data, so that's why we have this weird subject verb agreement right the data are clustered at five so clustered means just like a cluster of grapes where is most of our dots showing up and even though five is in the middle of our data spread from zero to ten that's not where they're clustered they are clustered right down here between zero and two because that's where most of them are you've got one two three four outside of this group so 16 are grouped in this little 0, 1, and 2 span, and the other 4 are down at the other end. So no, we cannot say the data are clustered at 5. They are clustered up there at 0 to 2. And then finally, let's look at the peak of the data. Okay, the peak is where, think of a mountain peak, right? A little mountain peak right there. Where's the highest? Even though 10 is at the end of our data, it's only got 2. We actually have two peaks right here at 0 and right here at 2. So those are our two peaks. 10 is just at the upper range, the upper limit, so that is incorrect. So our answer is F. The data distribution has gaps.